Hello there. Tonight's brush is my Century Satin Rubber. It's got a 22 mil or a 20 millimeter TGN Finest Two Band Badger knot in it. I'm going to set it in a scuttle to soak up some water. And the soap tonight. It's Wild West Shavings Orange Blossom Special. There's a song about that train. Oh, this is fantastic scent. A fantastic scent. It's scent of orange blossom, freesia, which I don't know what that is, tobacco flower, and menthol. Uh, the menthol is here, I assume, because the Orange Blossom Special, which was a train that basically hauled rich people uh, across the uh, eastern coast of the United States uh, back in the 20s, only ran in the winter time. So I assume that's why he he put that menthol in there. But this is just a wonderful uh, green uh, floral. Oh, fresh just a lovely lovely scent incidentally I haven't used Wild West shaving in a while and uh, I don't know if these are new containers or just an optional container or whatever but I really Russell I really like that so lovely lovely scent we're gonna go ahead and load up a brush and get to shaving I kind of want to let you guys know what's going on. Uh, I have uh, kind of figured out what's wrong with my laptop. It's uh, the hard drive is bad, damaged. It may even just be loose. Uh, the the laptop was dropped. It was an accident. Well, it was not really dropped. I would call it a drop, but it was knocked off the table. But it was an accident. It could not be helped. The person that did it uh, is disabled, and it was not meant. It just sort of happened. And uh, anyway, a friend of mine said, well, it may not even be damaged, because what I can do, I can take a clamp, and I can stick that clamp on the laptop where the hard drive is and clamp down a little bit on the hard drive and the laptop works perfectly so I have a friend of mine who said hey you know you might not have a damaged uh, hard drive your hard drive might just have gotten knocked loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a shot. And see if that's the problem. I'm going to open it up. And uh, pull the hard drive and plug it back in. And see if that fixes it. Uh, but... Even if it does, the laptop that I have, you know, the, the drop didn't damage just the, the hard drive. It broke the hinge where the uh, screen attaches. There's like two or three lines in my screen, that kind of deal. So even if the hard drive is not bad, uh, sooner or later something's going to fail on this laptop. And I, my bet would be sooner rather than later. I don't know if you saw the amount of water I just put in that soap but uh, it was quite a bit and guess what I'm adding. Uh, Russell's soap is really good at handling water. That's a beautiful scent. But anyway I have a that same friend and I'll mention him at a later date. I've already talked to him. He said it's alright. Uh, it's 
sending me a spared laptop of his. Uh, he says all I gotta do is pay shipping. So uh, when he sends it and I can get the money together, I'm sure it probably won't be no more than 15 or 20 bucks. Then I will send him the money for that laptop and I'll do it as fast as I can. Uh, let's go back up top and we'll finish this conversation. Alright, we're back. I've got a couple of days worth of growth. Let's wet the face. Anyway, it looks like through his help that dude that that knot's incredibly soft. Uh my computer problems are gonna be solved. And uh so there's no need to worry too much. The menthol's not super strong, but for some reason it's hitting my eyes the way I like it. You guys know me, I, I like my eyes to water like crazy when you throw menthol on something. Wonderful cooling effective scent. That wonderful green. There's almost, not quite, it's got a floral scent to it, but there's almost, almost a fruity. But it's not, but it's, it's like real close to a, a fruity kind of scent. I'm assuming that's the uh, tobacco flower or the orange blossom flower. The freshness of that is why I'm, why I'm uh, sensing that. But that's just lovely. I mean absolutely lovely. Uh, so I think my friend and I, will, like I said, I'll disclose more later on. This is uh, my J.A. Hinkle's Twin Works with a walnut burl scales and that's either bone or Corian wedge I can't remember which uh, oh yeah beautiful It's lovely. The menthol's good in this. It's not huge, but it's got a really nice cooling effect. I would call it well balanced to the rest of the ingredients. That's gorgeous. <laughs> and soap is nice, but uh, the guy that mixed it before he put it on his face, <laughs> i.e. me, should have put a bit more water in it and I'll rectify that. It's lovely. Look to add a bit more water to this stuff. And a bit more than that. Add a little bit more water. Because I can feel on my face. That's one thing, you know, I've said before, and I keep saying, you should pay attention to the way, not just the way something looks, especially with a soap. And if you're trying to get water balance, 
you should pay attention to the way that soap feels when it goes on your face. Like if the soap kind of feels like somebody put a rag on your face and it's closing everything off, you know, the, the pores aren't, your pores in your face aren't breathing, that kind of deal, you don't have enough water in that soap. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Different soaps look different with different amounts of water in them. It depends on the base and probably a bunch of other things I don't know about. Uh, the final arbiter to whether you got enough water, which I do now, is whether or not you feel like your face is able to breathe. Uh, it's lovely. Yeah, that's better. Beautiful. Beautiful shave. Cold water rinse. That's going to feel good with that menthol. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lovely. And I'm going to finish off with Beaver Woodride. I believe that's uh, Black Ship Grooming, unless he's changed his name again. Uh, Beaver Woodride's Jolly Roger, given to me by a very, very good friend of mine. And uh, just out of this world, good aftershave. Good. All right. Thank you for coming along. God bless you. That's been the shave. I'll talk to you later.